How's it going everyone? District of Cards here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have some more retail for you. Uh, restock today was just Gypsy Queen. Didn't see any other products, so I decided to pick this up for y'all. I uh, really like this set. Really interesting set if you're not familiar with it. It's kind of got like a tarot card fortune teller theme and uh, they're doing some retail right now. So I just wanted to get that for y'all and we can get into it. So what we're looking for in this set is one green parallel is going to be exclusive to the retail version of the pack. Empty box. As well as some other kind of stuff. So we'll just see. Oh yeah, there's lots of like missing everything. You can get missing nameplate, missing team, missing... <laughs> I don't know. Probably have a missing photo at this point. I don't really know. Um, so there are your odds there if you want to pause it and just take a look at all the different uh, colors of parallels you can get. And we will get into this. It's been a crazy time for Major League Baseball. Obviously, we're in the district or in Washington, D.C., and the Nationals basically blew up their entire team uh, from the 2019 World Series. Guys like Hudson and Jan Gomes <laughs> and Trey Turner and Max Scherzer. And then some more recent favorites too, like Josh Harrison and uh, Kyle Schwarber won as well, and Brad Hand. So a lot of a lot of guys who are in this set are probably no longer with the teams they're with. It was an absolutely crazy trade deadline period. A lot of shuffling going on. Got Trout, Dunning rookie. Our first green parallel is Mookie Betts for new new teammate of Trey Turner and Max Scherzer. Speaking of that Nationals trade. There's someone who they got in return, Ruiz. Hopefully can be a catcher of the future, Cubby Ruiz. Number six catching prospect in baseball. Yep, we'll see. We'll see how that all pans out. And then a Cameron, rookie for the Tigers. So, yeah, Keith Law said the Nationals had the worst farm system in all of Major League Baseball, so they did need to restock, retool. Uh, get a big haul of prospects back. They certainly did with everybody that they got, but still doesn't make it any less jarring to see a lot of your favorites from over the years get sent out the door. Ryu, Kiyama, Shane Bieber. Our next green parallel is Hayward, one of the few Cubs who <laughs> is still on the team. Evan Longoria and Trevor Story. The Cubs trades were also crazy as well. Talk about of the franchise leaving on Javi, Brian, and uh, Rizzo as well. Jarring times for some recent National League winners of the World Series. Luis Robert, Verdugo, Garcia, Juan Rodriguez, who just had a pretty bad game the other day. And this is a nice looking parallel for the Blue Jays. Espinal, rookie. Number 89 of 199. That looks really nice for the Blue Jays as well. I like that kind of teal, that teal color there. I'm just going to take a quick look at the back of the pack and see what our odds were of getting teal. And then Carpenter and Susugo were our last two cards in that box. So let's just take a look there. Uh, if you pause it, you're probably going to see it faster than me. Hmm. I don't know. I won't belabor it too long if I can't see it. But I don't see like a cyan or a teal. I'll check on it afterwards. But pretty cool. Getting something to 199, especially one that is a rookie. Next up, we've got Correa, Pilonzo, Schwarber, another one departing. A Wands insert of Bellinger for the Dodgers. It's pretty cool. So you get that like tarot card feel. Interesting set. It's kind of wacky. Turner for the Dodgers. Strasburg. <laughs> One of the few Nationals is still around. And Kyle Tucker. Boy, these are some like sturdy packs here. I appreciate the construction after ripping through some of the panini football retail that the pack like disintegrated in your hand as you open it. Kikuchi, Xander Bogarts, Trent Grisham, Kyle 
Lewis, second year. Rasmussen is our green rookie. Chris Paddock and Conforto. So two packs to go. Zabarius, another Eduardo Rodriguez. George Springer for the Jays. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I uh, did not expect to get an on-card auto <laughs> in this, uh, but we did. So, <laughs> wow. Jose Garcia, uh, shortstop for the Reds, auto out of a retail blaster. Uh, that's nuts. Uh, I kind of, when we were just looking at the back of the packs there, I didn't even bother looking at the auto odds because... Obviously, we're not going to pull one, and we did. So that's nuts. He has a sweet auto as well. That looks really cool, and it's an on-card auto. Okay, so we'll just finish here. We got Walsh, uh, Chavis, and Paredes for the Tigers. What were the odds of pulling an auto out of there? So we see autograph uh, garments. Let's see. Gypsy Queen autograph. I think that's just all that is, right? So one out of 65 packs. Sweet. All right, so that's actually not terrible. If you, I mean, if you think about blasters, or what is it, seven, eight packs per? Yeah. So you can buy a couple of these. If you got a huge lot of them, you can find an auto in there. Okay, I, I kind of discounted that we had any chance of getting anything sweet. Um, but that apparently wasn't the case. I'm not a huge Reds fan, so I'm not extremely aware of how good he is, but you'll always take a rookie auto, I guess, so that's sweet. Uh, Marte, Dubon, Mats for the Jays, Renanya Odor, a Berrios Green, oh, and then one of these little captain cards inserts, Xander Bogarts, captain for the Red Sox, these are not numbered, but just cool looking little insert there, and then a Krilov rookie, it's a nice way to finish it. All right, so I would say that that box was a success. Um, this is my first curl off rookie, so I'll get that sleeved off. Um, I would say reasonable expectation that you're just gonna get a bunch of greens. This was our only, these were our two inserts that were um, like non-numbered inserts, a captain and a wands, and then otherwise you're just getting one green per pack. And then we had a bonus insert of the Espinal Rookie for the Jays, number to 199. And then obviously the highlight of the box was the Jose Garcia uh, auto, Gypsy Queen auto that is on card. I wanna say, I'm, I'm now looking past the camera to see that that's right. Yeah, it is, it is an on card autograph. So that's nuts. All right, well, um, this product gets a very biased A plus from me. I'm sorry that I only bought one blaster now, but maybe that was a good one to just start and finish with. Um, always like Gypsy Queen, and yeah, hopefully y'all are finding this in restock as well, because this was a great rip. This has been District of Cards. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time.